Hey everyone, here's a question on rational numbers. The question is, what number should be subtracted from 3 by 7 to get 5 by 4? Now here, what they're asking is, what number we should subtract from 3 by 7? So from 3 by 7, what I should subtract so that the answer is 5 by 4? Okay, so this number, what we have to subtract is unknown to us. So I'm going to take it as in a variable x, which I have written already here, that the number to be subtracted be x, I've assumed here. Right now we're going to frame the equation and we're going to start solving it. So here when you frame it, like I said before, from 3 by 7, what we should subtract? So that number to be subtracted, I've taken x. So minus x will be equal to, the answer is 5 by 4. Now it's like a linear equation. So you have to find the value of x. Now there are two ways of solving it. One is like you transpose 5 by 4 to this side and minus x to the other side. And you go ahead. Second is you transpose 3 by 7, only this 3 by 7 to this side and solve it. Both the ways you want to get the same answer. But here I'm going to transpose this minus x to the other side and bring this 5 by 4 to the left side. Why I'm doing this? I don't want this x to be a negative. So in the last step also we can remove this uh, my negative sign but I just want to avoid in the initial stage only. So I'm going to uh, transpose minus x to the right side and I'm going to bring this 5 by 4 to the left side. So you know the transpose method, the signs will change. So 5 by 4 is positive, when transpose will be negative. So minus 5 by 4 will get. Now transpose is minus uh, x to the other side. And the sign will change, minus will become a uh, plus. So it will be x. Or you just don't write down plus sign or you can write down p plus x or just x. Now we have to solve this. We have to subtract these two rational numbers. And you have learned that when you're subtracting a two rational numbers, the denominator have to be same. They have to be a like uh, fractions or the denominator ha have to be same. So here they are not same. So we're going to take the LCM and we're going to change the denominator. So we're going to find the LCM here, LCM of 7 and 4, which will be equal to 28. Now I'm going to change the denominator of both the numbers. Uh, so 3 we have. And the 7 we have. So to this 7, what I should multiply to get 28? So we know that 7 4s are 28. So write down 4 in the, multiply 4 in the numerator and denominator. It's like the equivalent rational number. Okay, with a denominator 28. Then the next we have 5 by 4. Same thing. With 4, what you should multiply to get 28? It is 7. So multiply 7 in the numerator and denominator. So this is equal to x. So when you multiply, 3 4s are 12. So we'll get here 12 by 28. Multiply 5 and 7, 5 7 is 35. So minus 35 by 28 is equal to x. Right? Now you can see that denominators are same. Then you have to just simply subtract the numerators. So it will be 12 minus 35 by 28 is equal to x. Now subtract this two, you will get here 23 minus 23 by 28 is equal to your x. Now here why has this a negative sign? Because 35 is a greater number, its sign is negative. So you have to put minus, after subtracting you have to just put the negative sign. So the other number which has to be subtracted from 3 by 7 is minus 23 by 28. So that's it. I hope this question is clear. In case you have any other question from this chapter or any other chapter, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.